Carrie Rose. And those are some wild waves we saw out west. I'll update you on the waves that are happening on our coastline in just a moment. But let's look outside because it is such a beautiful summer day for us. Some fair weather cumulus clouds right there. Plenty of sunshine for us and that has helped our temperatures despite a cold front moving through this morning to still make it into the low to mid 80s at noon time. It's 82 in Tappahannock, 87 in West Point, already 90 in Williamsburg, 86 right here in Richmond. You can still see a little bit of that high cloud cover that had been passing over us. It's starting to thin out nicely and then you see this little bubbly white. That's where the cumulus cloud is showing up here on our satellite picture. Obviously nothing on the radar sweep because it is quiet for us here along most of the east coast. Some more fair weather cumulus clouds up into New England wrapping around this area of high pressure and of course around the low pressure system which is just off into eastern Canada. Well there's a hurricane. It looks quite impressive. In fact it is still holding its strength as a category one storm offshore, but it is sending swells all the way to the mid-Atlantic coastline and up into New England. So this purple shade, that's where the roughest of the waves are, and they're running about five to six feet, even down at Virginia Beach, which has now been allowed to expire from this uh, alert, this advisory for the coastal regions. Rip currents, though, still a concern today and tomorrow if you're heading out to the beach to get a jump start on your holiday weekend. So just follow the lifeguard whistles and the flags for your safety. As I mentioned, this is still a hurricane, still quite impressive on the satellite picture, and it is accelerating now very quickly off to the north and east. It will by this weekend lose its tropical characteristics, but it is still going to be, as you can see by the wind speeds, a very impressive what we call extra tropical or beyond the tropics storm system. Really nasty stuff. You wouldn't want to be a boat trying to go through that part of the Atlantic Ocean with that system churning there this weekend. 86, that's where we are right now. It feels like it's 89 because of this. The dew point values, they are higher than they have been for most of this week. Back up into that uncomfortable range, feeling like it's humid to muggy. Most of our values range 65 to 70 now. So that's where we are and that's what it feels like outside. So 90 for our high temperature today, hot and humid with a north breeze in the wake of this morning's cold front, which has actually been making good progress into Southern Virginia. This has been a dry front coming through, barely any cloud cover with it, and it's moisture starved. So I think it'll be really tough this evening to squeeze out even a few isolated showers or storms around Farmville to Petersburg and points south and west. The system looks like it's just going to wash out over North Carolina. Broad high pressure to our north tracks to the north and east, keeping us quiet on Friday. Friday, but then that southerly flow kicks back in on Saturday morning. We might get a few Saturday morning light showers, and then it's in the afternoon when clusters of showers and storms are possible. They'll die down as the sun sets, and we'll see that process repeat through the rest of the holiday weekend because of the heat, the humidity, the southerly flow encouraging all of that to happen. Cheryl? Thank you, Carrie.